Hello everyone, I'm Captain Mick 56 inside Build a Boat for Treasure, and there is my Enderman. And, oh, did you do that? Oh my god! Save me, Mr. Enderman! Ah! Wow! Okay, I am dead. I've flown out of the world. That's crazy. So, the driver of the Creeper was Hero on the Hero Plays Roblox. He's my buddy, and there he is right there. He must not have gotten flung. Hello, Hero. And uh, so Hero built the Creeper the other day, and I want to show you how that went, and I'll tell you a little story while it's uh, while I'm playing that high-speed video. Oh, and the poor Enderman took a, took a real hit there, didn't he? At least he's still here. A little bit ago I tried that, and he blew completely off the map, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. So Hero is building this thing as best he can from a Minecraft reference, from a picture of a creeper in Minecraft. Uh, so he's going to have the colors match as, as closely as they can be. But anyway, I want to tell you the story here, and uh, let me get into my old man voice, and we'll see how this goes. Back when I was a kid, my aunt had this dog named Trisket. She was a rat terrier. She was the cutest little thing, and she loved me so much that whenever I would see her, she would run up to me, roll over, and pee all over the place. When I see a Minecraft creeper, sometimes I think of Trisket and how they did the same kind of thing. They, they both run up to you, all happy to see you, then start shaking with happiness, and then it explode. <laughs> I hope that sounded good, because I don't think I could do that two times in a row without laughing. <laughs> so... Uh, the last part of the video here, the high speed stuff, is just me putting the uh, explosives and stuff into it. So that's that speeds up pretty fast and uh, it gets it gets over pretty quickly. Uh, then I'll jump back into the regular video. So that was kind of fun. There's the two of them right there. And I wanted to show you the invisible stuff. So let me just do that. There we go. So I've used those candy cane wheels on all of these things. You don't have to have those wheels. I use them because I like them and I've got a lot of them. Uh, the creeper has a, has a gold structure. So this is all gold here. And that gold structure kind of helps to hold things together. That, that bar that goes through there, connects the front wheel shaft to the back wheel shaft. And this is the counterweight underneath here. And there is the, there's the protection block bar with all the protection blocks that sit at, right kind of in the middle of the water level. So the center of my protection blocks generally are around, around here where the water level would be. That's usually kind of right where I want them to be. The inside of the creeper is, of course, loaded with TNT, well, dynamite, so that you can trigger it. And let's see, I don't know how much is in here, quite a bit, uh, but it's not full. Like, it's not everywhere. You know, you can see it's gaps and stuff. This is everything revealed. So I don't have any on the top. Uh, I do notice that when I pop it, sometimes like these two blocks wide here, there's not any TNT in this area, and it kind of needs to be in order to blow these blocks apart. So you can certainly skip. You can give some gaps and stuff between the, uh, the explosives. Um, but uh, anyway, that's that's what that is. I use TFGH to drive this thing, as with most of my builds, um, so that I have control over it as a pilot seat. So I use a pilot seat. still have WASD, so I can still steer it like this if I want to. Uh, of course, it has thrusters. And uh, no, this one doesn't have thrusters on it yet. Uh, this will have thrusters and jets eventually, but it doesn't have them right now. Uh, so... Yeah, this is the little piece of plastic that holds the legs on, so that blows off of it pretty easy when you, when you pop the guy. And let's see, there's my driving thing. Of course, it does the uh, all-wheel steering, so that's uh, TFGH on that driving thing. And of course, you can see the little activate button down here is J for me. And uh, I've seen lots of creepers in the game. They're pretty cool. They always blow up at the most inopportune times. I decided to uh, basically not use mine um, for public servers. Um, every once in a great while I'll show somebody and they'll just want me to blow it up. It's like, well, okay. Uh, but I purposefully didn't overload it too far, uh, not to the point of like crashing the server or anything. Um, not, it's not good to be rude, you know. That's not the point here. So uh, there you can see all the all the stuff underneath the uh, the Enderman. He's got he's got the jets and the thrusters on him for sure. 
and they work kind of interestingly uh, because I'm here in this spot in his in his belly here um, and my wheels are down there and all the jets and the thrusters are all down there too. Uh, the counterweights underneath there of course. So you kind of want to have the jets and the thrusters near your counterweight. It makes it fly in a more predictable manner in a way. Um, but because I'm so far up, my control is a little silly. Uh, but I still have the, you know, you still have the, um, the jet for if you need the, um, the immediate control. And that still works okay. And the, both of these guys, the Enderman and the, um, the Creeper, are both kind of like weebles. They wobble, but they don't fall down. So you can make him go like that, but as soon as you stop pushing, it's, it's pretty easy to get him to sit back up again. Just a couple of taps on pretty much any button there, and uh, he'll sit right back up. So, that's that. And I suppose, since I've got this thing loaded up again, I should probably go ahead and pop him again, because, you know, that's just fun. Alright, here he goes. I think I have my Roblox sound turned off, so let's see what I can do with the sound on this one. Here we go. J. Ooh, that, uh, I think I hit the wall pretty hard on that one, or maybe it was that tree right there. Yep, I got an imprint of my tree on my face. Okay, so that's that, and next I want to show you guys uh, the ball that I did for a my first YouTube short video last week. I made this ball. Okay, I kind of fibbed a little bit. This is the same basic ball. I've done a couple of things to it to make it uh, a ball that can drive to the treasure reliably. This piece right here is six pieces instead of like the hundreds of pieces it took to make it round. So to do this little extra curve takes a lot of pieces. And then the same thing on both sides. Taking out the extra pieces is always good for a treasure driving kind of thing or basically anything you don't want to lag too much. Um, because if it ain't you, it's somebody else that's riding with you uh, that will have lag problems from all the pieces. And something this size, with this angle, I'm um, pretty sure this is probably 5 degree angle, um, it has it has a lot of pieces anyway. It has enough to cause problems. Uh, so this this little square up here is the only one in the whole thing that's collision off, that's so I can get in. And this marker up here with the, the different colors, uh, that helps me to drive. So if you have your pilot seat in there, this is left, this is right, and this is backwards in the pilot seat. So you, you're, always, you're always going backwards when you want to go forwards. It's just how it works. Um, you could turn the seat around, face the opposite direction, I guess, to make it work differently. But uh, anyway, this, uh, the marker there really helps me control it. So if that marker's on the bottom, then my left and right are reversed from each other. So I can go, this is my, my left, but you can see from the top point of view, I'm going right. And... I can still figure out how to get it back to normal uh, as long as I know where that marker is because that's my top marker and that, that tells me which direction I'm oriented. So I can go ahead and take this thing to treasure. Um, it makes it, uh, but it's kind of fun because these toy blocks, just like plastic, they're not very strong. In fact, these are a one strength block as well. Uh, so they're the same strength as plastic, but they weigh a little bit. So they're not as good as plastic in a lot of ways. And they have this this uh, little this little print on them here that uh, you know, makes it difficult to figure out where to use them. Uh, I suggest using them for Kleenex boxes. You can make a one by one box, and the R basically sits centered in the box, and it kind of works. Um, that's the only thing I've been able to make out of them that I really find valuable, aside from you know one of those balls. Um, so anyway. This thing goes to the treasure, and it's fun to see how it gets chewed up along the way, uh, because, well, that's just enjoyable to see. And there's the washer, and there's where you can use your ability to drive this thing. And uh, sometimes it is tricky to drive, and there I almost fell in the washer, but thankfully my little marker helped to uh, get me oriented the correct direction, and that worked. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out a bunch more of my stuff. I try to do a video about it once a week, but you know, sometimes life happens and I don't get around to it. But anyway, it's always enjoyable to hear from you. So drop me a comment and I will be sure to reply. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much and see you later. Bye.